Hey right guys, Trish Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 6 of All of Us Are Dead Season 1. The last episode was pretty good, I'd say it was as good as episode 4 really, I think they went hand in hand pretty well. Uh, kind of had more barricades, but we had the bully guy uh, dying, then coming back to life, and he's like a half and half zombie now, and he's obviously going to have a vendetta against our main character, so... Uh, shit's gonna go down between those two, maybe this episode, or it might, be, might take a few episodes. I feel like this show, it focuses on one character, then you won't see him for like two episodes, and then they're there again. Like, where's the teacher? We need to get this teacher back in. What the, she like disappeared uh, with that, with that knobhead. The, what, who I've been told is actually the character from, or I guess not the character, but the actress from uh, Squid Game. The one who, I guess I don't really want to spoil her, but... If you know, you know, which is the, the character from Squid Game, which is really, really cool. So I, I heard that in episode one, but um, I, I just forgot to bring it up. And now, yeah, I guess she's now bringing it up. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's annoying because I, I like really liked her character in Squid Game. And then she's like really annoying as a character in this show. So it's like, uh, what do I do? Um, but no, last episode was good. So episode six, we are halfway through the season after this one. And if this is as good as episodes four and five, then I'll be, you know, I'll be happy because... I feel like the last two have been on a nice track, so hopefully you can keep that up. But yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to All of Us Are Dead, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description, and one of the comments down below there, one episode ahead, um, so they'll be on episode 7 by the time this one's on YouTube, it'll be uh, one ahead every day, and yeah, I'll be uploading these every sing one every single day till we get it done, so if you're... If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so if it's your kind of thing. If not, then I'll see you about. But <laughs> episode six, guys, let's do this. The Jonas virus. The Jonas Brothers virus is what you should have gone for. That's, that's a nice ring to it. So he's got the right idea. Let's go on the roof. I said this. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna start being like a badass, isn't she? As soon as she sees that guy open, she just rips into him. Pick up your arrow. If you're worried about running out, pick them all. Oh, don't you just, oh my lord, that annoys me. <laughs> it annoys me. Pick up the arrows. Is that him making his move? I was gonna say, God, everyone's miserable, but I, I mean, I can't really blame him. She's just seen her dead parents in a van. Oh, here we go. They've appeared. And they've got stacks of Coca Cola. Let's go. I wouldn't let her near that window, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, I think at this point, like, every character's lost someone they care about. I mean, you are right, you're right next to the toilet. Damn! Tell her then, tell her, oh, just say no, you're talking to everyone in the school. Oh no, she wouldn't say anything because she likes to just not say anything. Yes, plan number 10. Yeah, you kind of lead them outside if they can control which ones to work. Just sing. Why do you need music? Just make loads of noise. I don't think they're attracted to music. I think they're just attracted to sound. <laughs> but sure, yeah. Look, you don't even need music. <laughs> hey. Oh, but when that alert the other guy that he's in there. Don't tell it. Don't say where he is. Just say we'll come. Okay, cool. So, so, so stay in the music room and then the bully guy's like... What are you doing? Is he actually trying to leave? They're going to come either way. You might as well stay put. 
It's a meditation CD. That's what you need in this situation. What are you doing, this guy? It should t if he can run to the broadcasting room, it'll take him about a minute to get there. Because you don't have to worry about... <laughs> well, zombies, clearly. This guy! <laughs> yes! My favourite zombie, how's he got up these stairs? The slowest zombie ever, but the most legendary. <laughs> Are you really going this time, mate? It's third time's the charm. Ah. <laughs> he shot himself. Just go and kill it, it's one. Maybe the zombie's death. Yeah. Just go behind him and club him. I guess that wouldn't might make noise though. Let's wait. Bro, what do you mean wait? <laughs> These two have just been staring at each other the whole map. <laughs> His face. Well, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. You know when I saw the little canteen, I was like, he's dropping that. Idiot. And yeah, you fucked it. And one's fell over. Just classic. Yeah, I'm gonna fall over. What did I say? You'd think this is the time where I should not be dropping things or falling over. But I'm gonna do both of those things. Fell over. <laughs> Anytime someone's falling over, I'm just gonna tell them they fell over. That's my plan. Mate, I'm sorry, you took 20 minutes to get here. This is your own fault. I won't count that. Because he did get pushed over there. <laughs> nice. Yo! <laughs> this one ain't fucking about. He actually saved him. But they weren't these two friends like back in the day, because he used to be like a bully as well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill him. Jesus, he didn't hold him back. Alright, he got rid of the knife, so that's good. <laughs> Damn, let's go, dude! <laughs> Bloody hell, he punches off this guy. Break his neck, do anything, get rid of this guy. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, she's been bit. Time <laughs> was getting bit. What do you mean, fight him now? Nice, nice. Apple? Oh, I thought he was going to land on his head. Chop her arm off. I mean, what can they chop, or chop it off with a knife? That's not really going to work. Oh, she's done, unless she's somehow immune as well. Yes, mate! Ah. No, 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 if he dies, I'm going to be bad. No, 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 dude! No. <laughs> Have a little cry. <laughs> She's just there eating burgers. <laughs> Side already. Yeah, that's fair. You wanted to show me your love and you got denied. Just go out and join them. What's. what's you will just hide there for. I mean, actually, she could. She has food and drink sorted. Where's the teacher then? She's not with her. Huh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I wonder if she'd get infected by him. Because he's only half infected, would it count? Why did you not say no? I wasn't bitten by a zombie, by the way. <laughs> I 
Bloody hell, launch people out of it! <laughs> yeah, you really, this is going really well. Yeah, he can't really be sighted for like three weeks. One month minimum. Oh, he's gonna knock him out. Oh, <laughs> I thought he's gonna make a move. Yeah, yeah. And he did make a move. <laughs> Fair play. He took down three of them. <laughs> yeah, he's got to join you now. You got to have a co-op partner, or what's the point? Let's go. I've invested in this little duo. What were you gonna do? Just hit it with that? What was the plan? <laughs> Why is she not going to say anything? What's she doing? You've been all dramatic for, just... Oh my god, she's kind of annoying. Just say something? Oh my god, she's being so dramatic. You don't know that. You literally don't know that. Why are you being dramatic as fuck about it? What? You know he wasn't a zombie, you so oh, I'd let it go, I'd be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, see you later, I can't be asked. <laughs> just do what you did last time, sit put her in a corner of a room, or that room in there, and just let her wait it out. <laughs> Uh, fairs. Don't let her know, because she'll come out guns blazing. <laughs> She's jealous. Why can't I be infected and have my hand held by him? King. <laughs> Mate, put it down. You're going to do nothing. You'll do nothing. I mean, I think it's pretty reasonable. He's like, if she turns off, throw her out the window myself. Yeah, sound. <laughs> Is so dramatic, dude. She knows the guy wasn't infected. I don't know why she's <sighs> like it. Yeah, I guess he was, but the way she saw him, she saw him as a normal human. Oh, oh, oh! There you go. That's the sign. You said you'd jump out the window. Her eyes going red. Are they actually going to kill her off? I'd be keeping an eye on her, mate. I don't know about looking away. Yeah, there you go. Push her. Done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> what a fail! What is his plan? Oh, this guy's still around? I mean, I'm kind of with this guy now. She needs to go. She's turned. This whole I'll throw myself out the window or I'll push her out the window didn't really go to plan. Because none of them did it. <laughs> See, she might not have been immune, but him biting her might have made her immune. I don't really know. If that's the case, I'd have everyone bite me. Like, we'd all, like, infect each other. Because then they'd all be immune. Instead of being bit by someone who isn't immune. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Well, she's telling the truth, but she also said she'd jump out the window when she showed any signs. I guess this is their way of figuring out that some can be half and half. I love that they keep referencing the movies. If I did, oh my god, we're going in circles. She's clearly not gonna leave. So what's the point? 
This is what I mean when you can tell they're padding to get to that 60 minute mark. I'll leave. No, don't go. No, I'll leave because it will make everything better. No one else needs to die. No, don't go. We can figure this out. It's like, oh my god. Yes, we know. Yeah, 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 we've had this conversation about 40 times now. This episode was paced very well, I feel like. What's it been? It's been good time. Ten minutes. Yeah, everyone's happy about that, mate. I can see they'd still be pissed though, because then she bites you, then you get infected, then they've got two zombies on her hand. So you doing that hasn't really solved much. <laughs> Side mission. <laughs> That's basically what's happened. Them getting to the school too early would, you know, they got a pad out for 12 apps, so. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate salty. <laughs> These two. Oh, another kid we got to save. <laughs> well, that was a fail. <laughs> that was the quickest fail ever. So they've locked themselves in this room now. I guess maybe they were like, you know, we need a change of scenery. <laughs> Can we lock them all in the other room? Oh, his brain trails off quick. There's like literal drinks in the other room. Tell them! Cool, she was about to leave and tell him about all the drinks. <laughs> Shame wrong, she, she, that was evil. Ah, she's locked the door. Oh, and now they want to try it. I'd make zombie noises. <laughs> Just make zombie sounds. But oh no, we ain't opening that door. Nice. Let's go, dude. Jesus. Oh, don't leave him behind. Don't do it. Oh my. No, I wanted this little duo. Just knock him out. You knocked everyone else out. Yep. Nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Why did you get rid of your helmet? Keep it down. <laughs> Mate, that was weak. Come on. Ah, uh, time to vlog. Where's the YouTuber? I miss him. Oh, everyone's on it now. Everyone's in the vlog game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, <laughs> the respect's still there. <laughs> That's it! That's what he's... Yeah, that's one this guy, what's he gonna say? This guy's my favourite character. <laughs> oh, fucking nice guy. Best character, dude. I think every app I have a new favourite character, but yeah. That was a boring one, mate. I'm okay, bye. 
My god, the god for you literally just bust out a rap. And you went with that. Downgrade. Throwing off his body armor, nice. What is your accuracy? What is it? You've got five people here, this guy's invincible. Oh, they're not even trying, bro. What the fuck? He's on his way, don't worry about it. Somehow, even though he should have really died there. <laughs> God, they, they want him dead. Oh, he got hit. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, that is some stormtrooper accuracy with that. Damn. I really like that last scene of them kind of sending like messages to other people who could eventually come across that camcorder in years and years of time to come or uh, hoping that maybe their family will see it one day kind of thing so yeah I thought that was maybe the best scene of the entire episode to be fair kind of saved that their story because I felt like it started off quite strong like them trying to get to the music room and then obviously the, the president had Gotten bit, which was like, okay, cool. And I like the idea that we have the half and half zombies. But then I felt like their conversations around the situation just got very repetitive. Like, it's like, oh, I'll sit on the window, I'll throw myself out. And then the girl's like, oh, if she turns, I'll push her out. Then that happened, and they're like, oh, that didn't happen. It's like, oh, no, if she wanted to bite me, she could have. Oh, she needs to leave. Okay, I'll leave then. Oh, no, you're not leaving. I'm tying my arm to you, so you're not leaving. Oh, but why are you doing this? Because I could still bite you. Yeah, she needs to go because she has zombie. But it's just like, oh my god! <laughs> like, and I felt like we've had that conversation between those characters two times already. We had it with the the main guy's best friend, and then the the girl's best friend in episode two. So it's happened three times now. This one was a little bit different, like I say, because she did have the half and half. So when they were talking about that, it was interesting. But it, when it was just you know people panicking and being like, oh, she needs to get out of the room and all that, it's like we've we've had this. We've, we've had this, um, but you know, it, it didn't ruin the episode for me too much. I do think that was the weakest part of the entire episode. I think everything else worked pretty well. Like we got the, the firefighter on his way to go save his daughter. Uh, we got the cop who's was about to leave and take the baby to a checkpoint or something, and then now they've got another kid to look after. So that's going to... I don't know how they're getting out of that situation because those zombies are all at the door. So they really pick and choose again when those zombies are just like, yeah, we're going to leave this window now and go over here. Uh, I'm gar I guarantee you when they want to leave that room again, no zombies are going to be there, even though they know they're in that room, but whatever. <laughs> um, the archer, they were just kind of moving to a hall, I think. They were moving location, didn't really do too much. Uh, yeah. The bully kind of got his neck broken, but he's still alive again, so I think he's just immune to everything at this point. Yeah, it, it wasn't as strong as episodes four and five, but I do think that scene with the camcorder was one of the best scenes they've done so far. Again, I think everyone, or not everyone actually, but for the most part, all the actors and actresses in the show are actually pretty good. Uh, like They can bring out the emotion very well when they when they need to, um, and that scene they pretty much all delivered in, so... My favourite guy is the, the guy who was uh, rapping <laughs> at the end. He's been great all the way through. I love him. So hopefully he doesn't die. You never know. <laughs> you never know with the show. You could have people dropping like flies very quickly. But I don't think anyone of real importance died this episode for once. Like the president got bit but she didn't die. So uh, yeah. Rating. I'll give this one a 7.2 out of 10. It's pretty much as good as 5 and 4. Not as strong but still pretty much in that realm. Uh, like I say, it would would have been a 7, but I do think that that last scene there at the end really boosted up a bit. So, 7.2 out of 10. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know you thought the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to All of Us Are Dead, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below. And I'll see you tomorrow for episode 7. We're officially halfway through the season. So, yeah. Until tomorrow, take care. Peace.